because they will own you. You will have to go to them to get your care. I remember being in the green room of Fox about three days before the vote on Obamacare. And in walked Juan Williams, the now famous Juan Williams. He never learns. And I asked Juan, I said, Juan, you guys are pushing this bill through the House of Representatives, the thing that passed the Senate. This is after Massachusetts. Polls are overwhelmingly against it. And I said, what are you guys doing? Well, as you know, he gets his talking points from the White House before he goes on TV. And he said, this is what the White House told us. Quote, we believe that Americans love entitlements. And once we get them hooked on this entitlement, they will never let it go. This is how they see it. People who are dependent who should be addicted and dependent upon them because they know better what's best for you. The ads just a few months ago, pushing grandma off a cliff. Remember that on the Medicare bill? You know what the Medicare issue is about? Whether seniors can decide what health care is best for them or will seniors get a one-size-fits-all government-run program. If you are not for a one-size-fits-all government-run program, where the government tells every senior what they shall get, you are for throwing grandma off a cliff. Because according to you, according to them, you are not capable of freedom. This is what is at stake in this election. And ladies and gentlemen, if we lose, if we lose, you will be the generation. You will be the generation that broke faith with the greatest country in the history of the world, and you will be the generation that lost it. This is why this election, this is why I, I have seven children, ages 20 to 3. I have no business running around the country. <laughs> President of the United States. If you have any questions about that, I'll give you my wife's phone. <laughs> but she and I both know what our duty is. Yes, to be a good husband and good father, but to leave our children a place better than what we were given. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your duty. Now, I know you're out here in California. I know you seem in some respects a little out of the game, but you're not out of the game. You can fight. You can fight here in California, and you can get involved and fight because of the wonders of technology in all the places around the country. I'm going to be debating tomorrow night a bunch of very good people. I happen to believe I'm the best person to win this election. I also happen to believe I'm also the best person to be successful in getting the kind of bills passed in Washington to turn this country around. And so let me just very quickly lay out why I believe that. We've got very serious problems with our economy. The biggest problem is the economy is not growing. If, if we, if we and, and by the way, that leads to the biggest problem with respect to our deficit. The deficit is as big as it is in large part because the economy is so sick. Government payments are up, government revenues are down. If we can get this economy humming again, we won't solve the entire deficit problem, but we will bring it back into a range where it's actually solvable. <laughs> 